Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Jabro, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the best possible settings in the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Beta. Most of this is probably going to carry over into the um, full game as well. So pretty much, I'm hopefully going to help you guys optimize your game, get the best fidelity as well as the best frame rate. You honestly want to shoot for 60 FPS. That's, you know, that's a given. And for consoles, there's a few tips that are also going to work here as well. They're pretty simple though. Let's get into it. Let me show you guys first. What you want to go is you want to go to general and um for my pc players field of view you mess with that personally i want to let you know the more you increase the field of view the more uh the game has surrender so that's going to drastically cut down your um frame rate because you have to generate more uh view so that's that's a given so you guys want to most likely leave that alone because if you mess with that again that's going to decrease your frame rate but if you have a graphics card like my graphics card is a, a rtx 2080 so i could i have a little bit more leeway with that but still you guys want to be careful when you mess around with that field of view slider something that goes also that goes for consoles as well motion blur for the world and the weapon you guys want to disable that entirely because i mean it's a personal preference a lot of people prefer to have the motion blur off so i'm one of those people so i do recommend that you guys get rid of the world motion blur and the weapon motion blur dismemberment that is a personal uh that has no you know g impact on your game so if you guys want to see like um you know people pop heads pop off i don't know i don't know the dismemberment exactly within this game but if you want it to be less gory then of course you can um disable that frame per second um counter i have that disabled um enabled right now so if you guys want to see your fps or if you guys want to see like your ping for example and um frame times i just say if you guys want to put on server latency it'll show you your ping and um the fps counter it'll show your fps in game so getting into the graphics guys so right now um as you guys can see my counter is uh fps 77 there's a separate fps counter for the um for the in-game menu i was just messing around with it i just put it at um seven uh, at 77 just to see uh, just to like mess around with it for a little bit but screen refresh rate if you guys have a higher fresh of uh, refresh rate monitor which i'm trying to save up for right now i'm currently at a 60 hertz monitor so if you guys have a higher one make sure you guys max it out and make sure um yeah so if you have the quality let's say you have a 1440p 144 hertz monitor you want to make sure the res resolution matches that so if you want to uh 1440 i'm not going to get it exactly but you guys get the gist of it you guys want to adjust to it Make sure you guys get that um, so you're getting the most out of your hardware. As well as screen refresh rate, I told you mine is capped off at 60. So right there, it will say 140. If you have an overclockable monitor, it will say 165 as well. Um, aspect ratio, don't mess with that. I'm assuming a lot of people are going to have 16 by 9. But if you have a widescreen monitor, then you could do 21 by 9 or 32 by 9. But for the people, most average people, I'm assuming it's going to be 16 by 9. So try to stay away from that uh sync v-sync you want to have v-sync disabled because v-sync will um kind of slow down your game so it will try to keep your frame rate stable at the resolution of your monitor and that in turn kind of messes things up because it's kind of trying to like let me see let's say you have a 60 hertz monitor it's going to cut down the performance and use a lot of resources to keep it at 60 uh, frames per second. So you don't want to mess with that at all. So make sure that's disabled. Custom frame rate, you guys can have that enabled, disabled. Um, if you disable, it's probably gonna um, just do whatever your um, computer's, your uh, graphics card is able to do. Right now, custom gameplay is 250. So in game, if my graphics card is able to reach 250 frames per second, it will. Um, menu frame, this is what I was talking about. You can increase, decrease it, and it's just a menu, I mean, I don't really see that uh, making a big difference, but you could change that if you want to. All right, so here we go. So one thing, one thing I want to get to before we go to textures and details, uh, shadows. So one thing that takes up a lot of graphic um, graphics card, uh, like like your VRAM, and what takes a lot of resources from your graphics card is your um, is the shadows and lighting. So shadows is really graphics intensive. So you always want to make sure if you want to save as much, you know, just for the gameplay, you got want to turn off, you want to turn off um, or put it as low as possible, any shadows that you possibly can. So right here, disable, disable, ambient inclusion, you could disable that if you really want to. Particle lighting, low, I see that's it's not really things that are changing the gameplay in general. 
So having those disabled will give you more uh, more FPS in turn. Um, textures and shadows, again, these as well. You want to mess around with these settings. Personally, I have them on high, but as you guys can see, my VRAM usage here is going to decrease the more um, that I uh, lower it. So bullet impacts, like all this is all good. This is all, this is all things that really like tessellation, you'll be fine without. Bullet impacts, you'll be fine without. Particle quality, you'll be fine without. But um, in terms of texture, um, anoscopic uh, filters and texture resolutions, that might be something that you want to adjust a little bit, see if you could get that sweet spot within your graphics card. Anti-aliasing is something that most of you, if you have a, uh, a weaker graphics card, you wanna turn anti-aliasing off. Anti-aliasing is essentially um, like the jagged edges on on like things on people so if you have anti-aliasing on they'll look more smoother and it'll look a little bit more defined or if you have it off they might have a little more bit more jagged edges like right here you can see that um this looks the one on the picture looks a lot more smooth compared to the one on the left because that's due to anti-aliasing smoothing out those edges um film strength you guys want to have this shut off entirely this is kind of this is kind of um similar to the motion blur but it's going to give it some type of weird uh grain over the screen and you might most of you guys are going to want to have that disabled and the film strength as well so you can see there's a lot of noise uh applied in game as it says right there so a lot of you guys are going to want that off but other than that all the other all the other um settings like mouse and keyboard mouse acceleration you want that off mouse filtering you want that off mouse smoothing um is based on the last two frames and this all these all this right here is going to be your more subjective um type of like your key binds it's going to be your more subjective um things within the game so if you guys want to help me if you guys want to show you know what key binds i do i could do that in a separate video but other than that guys that's really much it you guys want to really what i what i focus on is textures the uh you want to make sure v-sync is off you also want to make sure that your shadows if you want to mess around with that make sure that's as low as possible because this game does get really dark and i also recommend turning your brightness up just a little bit because there's some maps that will have dark corners and a lot of people like to camp in this game so you want to make sure that you are the best suited to protect yourself and you know be away from that but other than that guys if you guys can drop a video i uh, drop a video <laughs> drop a like on the video i'd really appreciate that but other than that guys have a great day enjoy the beta i'll be streaming my Twitch is in the uh, link in the description below. My Twitter is also there as well. So I'll see you guys then.